solve the following equations. The square root of a plus 7 is equal to the square root of 3a plus 1. And when we have an equation that has square roots on both sides, we are allowed to square both sides. So that would give us a plus 7 is equal to 3a plus 1. And that's linear, so that's a linear equation. Subtracting 3a from both sides is negative 2a. Subtracting 7 from both sides is negative 6. a is equal to 3. Always a good idea to check your work on these with a quick substitution. So square root of 3 plus 7, that's the square root of 10. Right hand side, square root of 3 times 3 plus 1. That's the square root of 9 plus 1, that's the square root of 10. So that checks out a equals 3. Exercise B asks us to solve four, the square root of 4x uh, plus 3 is equal to 7 minus the square root of 4x minus 5. We can square both sides with this, but we have to be very careful in particular with the right hand side. So I'd have the square root of 4x plus 3 squared, but then I have to square the entire right hand side. So remember, that means I have 7 minus 4 times uh, square root of 4x minus 5 times 7 minus the square root of 4x minus 5. All right, left-hand side. Square root of 4x plus 3 squared is just 4x plus 3. Right-hand side would be 49 minus 7 times the square root of 4x minus 5 minus another 7 times the square root of 4x minus 5. And then I have a negative times a negative, which is a plus, and I'd have the square root of 4x minus 5 squared. Now that square root of 4x minus 5 squared is just 4x minus 5. All right, so I have 4x plus 3. I have 49 minus 5. 49 minus 5 is 44, plus the 4x. And I have those like radicals, so minus 14 times the square root of 4x minus 5. All right, so notice that those 4x's, if I were to subtract 4x from both sides, those go away. So I now have 3 is equal to 44 minus 14 times the square root of 4x minus 5. Subtracting 44 from both sides, I have negative 41 is equal to negative 14 by the square root of 4x minus 5. So now, continuing to isolate that radical, I will divide by negative 14. Negative divided by a negative is positive, so I have 41 over 14 is equal to the square root of 4x minus, nine, minus 5. All right, squaring both sides. Gives me 41 over 14 square. Let's see. 41 over 14 square. Oops. Go to, oh, I, I know what I did. I hit that. That should just be a 2 there. Uh, it gives me this decimal number. What if we wanted a fraction? We could go into our math menu and hit enter and enter again. It gives me the fraction 1681 over 196. So 1681 over 196 is equal to 4x minus 5. I would have to add 5 to both sides. All right, so let's add 5. So 2661 over 196 is equal to 4x and divide by 4. So I get 2,661 over 784. So x is equal to 
2,661 over 784, which is approximately 3.394.